ask you something before I make even my introduction. You. Yes, you, you, you who is looking at me. You. Why are you into Facebook? Why are you into YouTube? Why are you into Instagram? Why are you into all these social medias? Why? And why are you doing what you're doing? Is it because you love it? Is it because someone told you that it's good? It's, it will get you more money? Is it because you just want to be famous? Is it because you just want to pass time, you know, you're bored and you're lonely and you just want to pass time? Why are you into this? Anyway, my name is Namadi Iba. <laughs> Welcome on board. You know, every you have to just get used to me. Every time I get something new, something like my new hair, I'm going to come and tell you. I think you will read me how I'm looking. This side and then this side. Guys, tell me how I'm looking. Anyway, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Namale Eva. I'm happy that I'm back. The same thing that I want to talk about. It's not going to take a lot of your time, but it is also very, very important. Some of us go into Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and all these other social medias to get famous, to get money, to be... You know to make our uh, names and stuff like that but uh i would give one or two advice i don't know why you on to all those social medias but i will give one or two uh two advice on why we should be on all these medias first of all let us do things that we love go onto any social media and go do what you love what you want you understand like you're going on to Facebook, you're going on to TikTok, you're going on to YouTube. Find something that you love, something that is going to be pushing you to do it, something that you are creative of, something that you are create create all along creative about. You understand? Don't go. I would I would advise you don't go into something that you that is gonna last for. Two months or three months just because other people are doing it so you also want to do it i wouldn't advise you to do it because it's a trending thing because it's a prank thing and it's trending okay what if the pranks are all done what next mm -hmm. what if you get the age of uh, get at the age of 40 50 60 and you can't do no more i'm just saying you can't do no more pranks what next what are you going to do Okay, what if it shuts down, Facebook is down, or Instagram is down? What next? What are you going to do about it? Are you just going to sit home and be like, okay, no more social media, so I'm just going to sit at home, Kubanga, Facebook, and YouTube, and everything is down? Because sooner or later, all these YouTubes and Facebook, something is going to upgrade. Because we didn't know that Facebook is coming up, we didn't know that YouTube is coming up, we didn't know all these ninjas would come up. Like we didn't know, same thing, something is going to be like, you understand? So I would advise you, I would advise you, it's just a piece of advice. Do something that you love, in that even if Facebook is out, YouTube is out, you can set up something on your own, you can get clients of your own with this that you're doing, you can do, you know, you can do a lot of things without all this social media. I'm just saying, of course, social media is not going off. But I would advise you to start up something in that maybe if you don't have your phone with you, if you don't have your laptop with you, even like if you don't have all these gadgets with you, you can still do what you love. You understand? Another thing is don't go to social media like for the beginners including me don't go to social media expecting oh i'm going to youtube i'm going to instagram i'm going to tiktok because i'm expecting a lot of money that goes back to the same issue that i was talking about go to these medias because you love doing what you're doing you understand in the in the in the due course of doing whatever you're doing money will come up and don't go because i've got a lot of people asking me why are you on oh so you're on youtube ah you're getting a lot of money oh you're going to earn a lot of money 
that is right in the due course i will but i'm doing what i love i'm doing what i feel happy of doing i'm doing something that i'm like even if today i don't have my phone with me and i don't feel like i want to do a video that thing will still keep it will keep pushing me it will push me and push me and push me and I'll still get my camera or my phone and I'll still do a vlog. Or I'll go out there and do what I have to do. That is in align with what I love. Don't go into these medias because you're expecting a lot of money. Because it's not going to come up just like that. Some of us, it's going to take years, months, days. Yeah, money will come, but it's going to take all that. So when you go to all these medias with expectations of in two months, I'm going to get money, I'm going to get endorsements, I'm going to get supporters, all in, I mean, all this, please, you get so disappointed. Go into these things, doing what you love, doing comedy, doing all these things because it's in you, you love it. So from there, someone is going to see you and then who knows? You'll be on the next level because it's in you. You're not going in because you want to get all these millions and shillings and dollars. From there, from the consistency of what you love, someone is going to come up. And then they will see the talent in you, the ability in you, you know. Number three. Hey, number three, it's a bit hard. But hope you will also take it. Stop going to these uh, social medias when you don't have a backup, mostly for the beginners. For the beginners, it's, it's going to give you stress, you're going to be depressed, you, you get anxiety, you get all these things. Go to social medias, go to YouTube, Instagram and all these TikTok when you have a backup. What I mean about when I say backup is, get a job somewhere. Either this is just like your part time. This is something that motivates you that you do every day, but you have something that you can fall back to. You understand? Binaria could just Facebook and um, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, maybe that. And you're expecting a lot that in, in a month I'm just going to do this. No. If it doesn't work out, because some of us, you can even check my videos. Sometimes I get 20. There is a video I made. I'm almost 100 viewers. I'm so grateful to God. But at least I have a fallback. I have something that I'm going to, you know, fall back when maybe I'm depressed or I'm stressed or I see my, my views are not going up. You know, I would not really feel bad because at least I have something with me. I have a job. Which take it I'm not bragging because I have a job, but I thank God. But having a job or having something that you're doing, it means something that gets you money. I'm not specific. You have to work in this place. You have to work in this area so you can have all this, you know. Get something you fall back on. When you're doing all these social medias, um, YouTube and stuff, all this. At this when you do that, you can still go back to your job. You can still go back to your farm. You can still go back to your portrait, jokola. You can still go back to your, you know, to being all this or that, to being a vendor, market vendor, to be, you know, a job, something that you do. This thing of coming to media and you give it all your best, Thinking about every time you're going to be doing all TikTok and YouTube and videos and comedy and pranks. I'm talking about the beginners. And then after you wake up every day, like me sometimes I just wake up every day I'm like, it's only two viewers. Yes, I said it, only two viewers. Then you're going to start feeling sorry for yourself. You're going to start worrying. Then you'll be like, I don't think my talent is good enough. I don't think my this and this I'm doing is good enough. I don't think the message I'm passing to 
is good enough it is good enough but the thing is you need to find something else to occupy your mind you understand that you have to fall back to so please i'm just begging stress don't be stressed don't be depressed don't be all these things just get something to fall back on if it works out if it doesn't work out and still on you know pola and pola and gavita and pola and pola and pola still okay like me i don't even get depressed if i see 20 20 views i do because i'm putting my effort in but i'm not going to be like oh my god i feel so bad that i'm gonna cry no because i know okay i love this i'm doing this but i have a job but i have something to do but I have something to create. I have um, lip balms to make for people. I have lip gloss to make for people. I have A, B, C, D, Z. So this also applies to, apply to other people. Get something to do within your free time. This is not only for media. People, as you are on to the media. media. Don't focus only on one thing. Over your learning a new course, over your learning to do A, B, C, D, Z, over your learning to, you know, get something to occupy your mind. Because just imagine, I'm working, I come back home at um, maybe a morning, 7 to 4. So from 4 up to maybe 9 or 10 in the evening, what am I going to do? Am I, just, am, am I just going to be watching movies and comedy and all these things on YouTube and laughing and movies? January, February, March, April, May, June, I'm going to be watching movies? I don't think it works like that. I think we need to have side courses, side business, side school, side, 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 at least to occupy our mind, our brain, and for us not to be depressed. And... For this thing that we have on a side, let us make sure we love them. Something, uh, something that is going to push you. Sometimes I'm, I, I'm just in my bed there, but I feel like I need to do a video. I, I need to do one vlog. I need talking about something, telling people what to do and how to do it. Not because I know more, but it's, it's a drive. It's a push. You feel like you need to. But if you're doing something you don't love, girlfriend. Hmm. You just do one video and you're like, be with them, you just leave it. So this is my humble appeal. Please and please and please. For all these social medias that we are using, we are doing. Number one, let us, um, let us not focus on having very many views. I need to get money in two months. I need to get money in one month because I'm doing YouTube. Mm -mm. Number two, do something that you love. Go for a vlog that you love. Go for, go for, I mean, go in for something that you love. That's all I can say. In that even if media is out, you can set up something, something on the side for yourself. I know how to iron clothes. I'll tell, I'm, I'm just giving an example. I'll teach you how to, how to iron clothes. Even if I don't have my phone with me now, I can go to my neighbor. I mean, I can, I can, I can go find something because I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm professional in ironing clothes. I can go and find a job. I can go and set up something, maybe a laundry thing or washing clothes or stuff like that. Cause you're a professional and you love it. I know how to do facials and stuff. It's good. Even if this media is off, I can start up my parlor. I can do a mobile saloon. I can do a mobile. Um, a mobile spa you know all that because you love it it's in you number three get something to fall back on stop focusing all your mind on youtube and medias and stuff get something else don't be like it's this is the only thing i have so if it doesn't work out on food day get something that even if this takes 10 years five years two weeks 
I still have something to fall back on. But this is for new beginners. But if you if you reach like um, a million views or 500 or 200 but and you start seeing uh, YouTube paying you, you can branch off for your, from your side hustles and concentrate on YouTube on all these other medias or TikTok or whatever. But for a beginner, for a beginner, just have something to fall back on. Okay? Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. My name is Namale Eva. Today, I'm just living a simple life, you can see. Just very simple. Looking good with my canoe hair. I love you so much, guys. Thank you for the views, for subscribing, for liking. And I will see you in the next vlog. Ciao.